This engineering is elementary digital how-to will show you how to create one solar oven as described in the preparation section of lesson 4 part 1 of Now You're Cooking, Designing Solar Ovens. To see a visual of the parts that make up the solar oven, refer to DM 3.1 in lesson 3 of the Now You're Cooking teacher guide. To create one solar oven, you will need the following materials. One shoebox with lid. Use the same size shoebox for all the solar ovens you create. One resealable clear plastic bag that holds one gallon. Aluminum foil. One 5 inch by 8 inch index card. One 12 inch ruler. Glue or spray adhesive. A roll of packing tape. A utility knife. And a scissors. Begin by making sure your shoebox is completely intact. Cover any holes on the sides, top, or bottom with tape, making the seal airtight. Set the bottom of the shoebox aside and use a ruler to trace a 6 inch by 8 inch flap on the top of the shoebox lid. The resulting traced flap should be a 6 inch by 8 inch rectangle, with one of the 8 inch sides being a longer edge of the lid. Cut out the flap using your utility knife, making sure to only cut the traced lines for the two short sides and one long side. Tear an approximately 8 inch by 12 inch piece of aluminum foil from the roll. Next. Coat the side of the flap on the inside of the shoebox lid with your glue or spray adhesive. Attach the aluminum foil sheet to the sticky inside surface of the flap, making sure that the foil's shiny side is facing out. Smooth out the foil on the surface of the flap as much as you can and fold down any extra foil extending beyond the flap over the edges onto the flap's outer side. This foil covered flap is the reflector of the solar oven. Next, take the one gallon sized resealable plastic bag and cut off the zipper seal. Cut along the three remaining edges as well to create two rectangles. You will use one piece to create a plastic window to cover the hole in the shoebox lid. Trim any excess off the rectangle as needed so it fits the inner surface of the box lid. And tape the plastic to the box using packing tape. Line the entirety of the plastic's edges with tape, making sure that the seal is airtight and the plastic is stretched taut. Putting the shoebox lid aside, take your 5 inch by 8 inch index card and cut it in half the long way so you have two 8 inch long pieces. Take one of the index card halves and tape it horizontally on top of the shoebox lid flap, on the side opposite the shiny aluminum foil. Take the other index card half and tape it horizontally to the exterior of one long side of the shoebox. The two index cards should be taped down only at their ends, so their middles are not stuck to the shoebox. This allows each index card to act as a slot that can accept a ruler insert when the solar oven is being used. To finish creating the solar oven, use your utility knife to create a hole for the thermometer to slide into the oven box. Create the hole about 2 inches from the left edge of the index card taped to the shoebox and pierce through the index card and shoebox itself. 
Make sure that the hole is low enough that it does not get covered by the shoebox lid when it is placed on top of the shoebox. When students place their bowls into their solar ovens for testing, they can punch a hole into the wall of the plastic bowl. This will allow a thermometer to stay in place as it slides through the holes in their oven box and the bowl. And a 12-inch ruler can be inserted through the index card slots on both the flap and base of the solar oven to keep the reflector flap up for testing. The solar ovens were intended to be used outdoors in sunny weather, but can also be used indoors with heat lamps if outdoor sunlight is not an option for your class.